So when it comes to the entertainment industry news, I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than this because I'm sure a lot of us have heard it by now. Brian Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, I mean, they seem like best of friends in real life, right? They're actually going to be in Deadpool 3 with, I have to check them for some reason, uh, with each other. And of course, Logan is coming back, right? This is going to be absolutely huge when this comes out in cinema. It's going to be like Spider-Man, No Way Home with Tobey Maguire, but maybe even bigger. Now, I'm going to show you guys this, and it's actually going to shock you. Uh, you know, Logan, whenever it came out, 2018? 19? I don't know, but it, when it came out, this thing was absolutely huge, right? And it was his last ever movie. And Hugh Jackman has basically said that he will never, ever return. But there is one interview that, I, that I'm literally going to show you guys right now. I'm going to react to it. There's one interview he did uh, where he basically said, or gave the hint that he actually might return. This is interesting because every other TV show or radio show that he has done, he's basically said, no, never. I'm never going to return. I want to leave. I want to leave Logan just the way it was. And, and rightly so. It was a great movie with a great ending. Sad ending, obviously. Gosh, I can't wait to show you guys this. Uh, but yeah, Deadpool 3 Ryan Reynolds addresses Wolverine confusion in fun new video. Now, this is actually Ryan Reynolds' uh, YouTube account. And we're going to quickly react to these two videos. But after that, we're going to react to this. Because this video on the Howard Stern Show, Hugh Jackman, how he became Wolverine and why he's stepping away now. This interview is a key interview and it came out 2018. So he literally shows hints at the end, like I said, that he's going to come back at some point. All right, let's get to the start. There's also some lip reading going on and we're going to decipher what the lip reading was in this. Yep. First video for Ryan Reynolds. Let's check hey it out everyone. right now. Uh, we're extremely sad to have missed D23, but we've been working very Hopefully hard you guys can hear on it. the next Deadpool film for uh, a good long while now. I've had to really search my soul on this one. Uh, his first appearance in the MCU obviously needs to feel special. We need to stay true to the character, uh, find new depth, new motivation, new meaning. Every Deadpool needs to stand out and stand apart. It's been an incredible challenge that has forced me to reach He's down even plugging deep his inside. Gin. He's alcohol. I have nothing. Yeah. Get ready. Just Get ready. Completely empty up here. Get ready. Look behind and him. Terrifying. Look behind him. But we did have one idea. Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure. Ryan. And I... I probably should be muting that just in case YouTube comes for me because they probably will. Coming soon? No, coming hewn. Hewn, hewn, hewn. When I first saw this video, I had to watch it again because I didn't actually at first. Can you shush Rosie Chicken? Oh my God, you've been so noisy today. I had to, I had to rewatch it because I actually didn't believe that that was actually Hugh Jackman in the background. Obviously it is. Check out this second video. And once again, then we'll show you that one. All right, here we go. Hi. Oh, Hi. There we go. How are you? You have questions. Yes. I, I had a lot of questions. I'm sure you had a lot of questions, but rest assured, we're going to answer them right now. Like, for example, how is Wolverine alive? Yeah, after exactly. Logan. Logan uh, takes place in 2029. Mm -hmm. Totally separate thing. Mm -hmm. Logan died in Logan. Not touching that. What actually happens in our film is these two. <laughs> so I've got to basically mute that, otherwise YouTube's going to be mean to me. But they're just miming. They're just miming stuff over the actual <laughs> music. They're not actually saying anything, right? But when I first saw this, it's made me think of lip readers. Now, if a lip reader could read what they're saying, what they're saying, right? I mean, you can actually kind of get a plot line, perhaps, potentially, right? Get ready. There we go. There we Thank go. Thank you, Kevin Feige. Love you, Kevin Feige. Thank you, MCU. So that's really cool. I mean, if you guys know a little bit about Ryan Reynolds and, and, and Hugh Jackman. I mean, they've been huge friends for a while. They've always posted little funny photos and little funny videos with each other over the years. Great friends, clearly, right? I'm sure Blake Lively and Hugh's wife, Deborah Lee Finesse, are probably good friends as well. Uh, check this out, right? This is an interview, once again, on the Howard Stern Show. I've sped it up a little bit, just a little bit, as I have with the other two videos. Uh, let's get the point across. Basically, Howard Stern is basically going to ask Hugh Jackman, is this it? Are you actually stepping away from the from from Wolverine? 
Logan, forever, right? Check this out. At first he says yes, but get ready. Oop. What's going on there? Things. Are we done with Wolverine? Is that it? Is it over? Yep. It's over. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm good. We're all right with I it. feel good because I was really proud of that last film. And I Logan. Felt Very good. Yeah, yeah, I loved Logan. I, I loved, loved that film. film. Yeah, thanks, man. And, 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 and I really did decide to finish it after that conversation I had with Jerry Seinfeld. I asked him why, what made him quit. Like, what was the last thing? He said, this is the last season. He said, it's really important if you're in anything creative to not run the tank dry because it could actually never get refilled again. Like, if you right. could really overdo it, he said, so you leave while there's something in the tank and that will propel you into the next thing. Who knows what the next thing is? Right. Kind of like YouTubers when they experience burnout after making new daily videos for over a year, which is what I did, right? I kind of burned out a little bit, but I kind of stopped before the tank was completely empty, thankfully. Uh, but get ready for what he's about to say in a second. It's good, but how do you know when there's not, maybe there is more in the tank. You yeah, it's, just a, it's just a gut feeling. The moment he told me that story, I was like, oh yeah. Well, you know, Sean Connery made his last James Bond film. Right. And then came back. Did he? Yes. Oh, yeah. He's like, fuck what I said. How much money are you giving me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I reserve the yeah. answer? Right. Yeah, there is a clause. <laughs> so, if there is, so I'll make a deal. Okay. Go ahead. If I change my mind, I'll tell you guys. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We <laughs> give you permission. <laughs> Believe me. You told me really here. <laughs> so there you go. Howard Stern's basically like, well, Sean Connery, he came back. He came back if the money was right. He, he came back. And then Hugh Jackman's response is like, hmm, oh, yeah, okay. All right. So he basically left an open door, as opposed to every other interview that I've seen on YouTube over the past, where he's talking to late night TV hosts or, 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 or radio presenters, basically saying, nope, I am completely done with Wolverine and Logan. All right. Now, once again, there was lip reading happening during that silent period, this is actually what they said. This is interesting. Uh, okay, it's from this YouTuber called Jom Boy Media. If you guys want to check that out, then please do. Gosh, my bird, Rosie Chicken, why are you so loud? You're usually quiet when I put you up here. Yeah, no fights, no fights. Come on, man. All right, so before the song started to play over the two actors joking around, uh, Reynolds declared, what happened in our film? is these two fucking guys and then they become impossible to understand my bird just flew off reynolds continued his sentence saying get out there and he's like Grr, in which hugh jackman at the same time affirms ryan uh, reynolds by saying oh, i can't read uh, by reynolds by saying yes and then exclaims how he pulls the fucking thing uh, the Deadpool actor continues saying, and I'm just like, grrr. And then I'm like, while well, Jackman goes all in, declaring. And I'm just fucking, and I just fucking catch him. And I'm chasing him all over the place. Uh, Reynolds carries on with his tail, exclaiming. Uh, and we're, and we're, we're going through all of these different places. To which Jackman responds. And we're going to have this massive, massive, huge fucking explosion. And woof. I mean, I never got any of that. I'm obviously not a lip reader, right? Now, without missing a beat, Reynolds bounced off his co-star's exciting words, saying, yeah, and I've got the swords that... All right, all right. Reynolds isn't down and out, however, as he pops back into the frame, uh, making it clear that I'm fine, and I'm totally laughing about it. To clear things up, Jackman explained, and I'm alive too, but... You really have to see this before we're in our prime. Uh, because we're in our prime, I should say, it's true. The prime. All right. Well, I guess they'd have to be because they're older actors. They're just older in general, right? Uh, agreeing with him, Reynolds finishes up with, and what a way to make it up to you. Jackman, potentially in full, honestly, uh, goes on to say, I'm so excited about this, you guys are gonna fucking love it. Deadpool agreed as he started to clear, clap his hands, uh, declaring that it's going to be the best. I'm getting weird sounds in my ear all the time with my microphone, that's making me, uh, <laughs> it's messing me up a little bit. Uh, look, what do you guys reckon about this situation? It's obviously going to be a huge uh, No Way Home situation. Spider-Man No Way Home situation when it comes out. It's going to be absolutely massive. Uh, what do you reckon? Let me know down in the comments below. We're on both these channels, two and one. Those social medias, at Gareth. I've been tall.
My name's Gareth, and I'm going to pick up my bird, Rosie Chicken, because he's over there somewhere. And I'll see you tomorrow. See ya.